A&M finds itself going into Mississippi State to face the Bulldogs, home of NFL quarterback Dak Prescott, uh, who is a Louisiana native. Mm-hmm. And here comes Mississippi State. Here come the Aggies. Look at the Aggies record there. Undefeated with young Lance Harbor II as starting quarterback. Coach wants to start off with a run. He will do just that. And we are at the 25-yard line, it looks like. Give or take, maybe one. And, oh, he's changing up the play a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen here. All right. Ah, no. Same play. Okay, that's good. We'll take it. Pass play incoming. Okay. Drop him back to throw. He finds a man. Oh, nope. He took it himself. Short game. All right. We're going to keep this move. The other running back. Uh oh. We good? Alright, we're gonna keep it going. Get the ball back yet again, down 7 nothing. I guess we weren't good. So, trailing by 7, he drops back. Throws it to nobody in particular. As he tries not to get sacked. Alright, so second down, no big deal. Look at this young man taking the field, giving it to his running back, developing ever so slowly into a field general. It's going to be third in inches. Is that what that says? Holy moly. All right. So, I'm going to rely on the running back here. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. He didn't get it. All right. I guess it is what it is. Alright, so with the ball. Backed up against our own end zone pretty much. 7 nothing is still your score. Oh, that got blown up. Alright. What are we doing here? We're running to the right? Okay. And the running game is just not working out for the Aggies. They have Moose Muhammad, a wide receiver, son of Moose and Muhammad from the Panthers. They've got Emmett Smith's kid in at running back. Why aren't these people getting shots, man? Like, seriously. Alright, back under center. Harbor the second goes again. Looks like another run and play. Let's see if I'm wrong. Yep, run and play to the right. Goes for a little bit better of a gain this time. They're just going to have trouble with the uh, Mississippi State defense, I guess. Um, oh, running it the other way this time. Harbor makes a couple of adjustments here and there. Make sure the running back knows about it. Running back goes as he's told. It's another gain. I guess... Short positives is still positives. I think what I said was an oxymoron. Uh, Harbor drops back to throw. Finds a man. That's going to go for a fourth down. Okay. Mississippi State is just going to give us some trouble. One thing to remember, though, is Harbor the second is just a freshman. So, you know, there's going to be a little, little bit of a learning curve. He's dropping back. He's going to find his man. No way, did he catch that? He caught that. Wow. Alright, so we're moving even deeper into Bulldog territory. Harbor drops back to throw yet again. Finds a man at the right sideline area-ish. Another complete pass. Getting closer to Pater. I like what I'm seeing. Hopefully they do too. Alright, running game goes again to the left. Don't be 
a goal to go situation. I'm digging it. Absolutely love it. And to the running back, who gets almost nothing. Pass play incoming. Now you're thinking, coach. Now you're thinking. So, oh, into the quarter. All right. Making a couple of adjustments. But the question remains, can they score? Oh. Like what he saw, I don't guess. And we're going to try another crack at this. Let's go. Dropping back to throw. Got a man. And not quite. All right. Okay. So there's a quick look at it. At his stats, I could not word that for whatever reason. We are down 10-7 at this point. And the Aggies offense takes the field yet again. Harbour gives it to his running back who finds a little bit of a lane. The right side of the field. Uh, okay. And do this little play here. See what we can do. Mississippi State playing lockdown defense. That is mad. All right, so we're going to give it to our running back yet again, right side of the field. Third and short. Okay. Got a short side of the field to work with over here. Might try to go towards the middle. He does just that. All right, looks good to go from here. Right around the 50-yard line, first down. He gives it to his running back yet again. And we keep this moving. So, pass play. Pass play. Drop him back. Trying to find a man right sideline. Oh, nope. Not happening. Hey, pass play the other way now. See what he can do here. Now he's making some adjustments. Oh my gosh. Nope. Fourth down. That's what those noises are. Cowbells. Okay. So. With the ball yet again. Down 10-7 still. The Aggies near the 50 yard line. Drop back to throw. Lance Harbor the second. Finds a man. Complete pass. Let me keep it moving. Making a, making a couple of adjustments. He is. He drops back to throw. Finds a man short. Goes for a first down, looks like. Alright. Level one I'm seeing. Slow and easy. We take the lead before halftime. Harbor the second. Goes deep. Finds a man. Complete pass. Good stuff. Run in the hurry up offense? Oh boy. That is gutsy. Makes a change to the play. Goes to the running back. Yikes. Went absolutely nowhere and nowhere fast. Oh, curls. All right. So he's going to drop back, look to his left immediately. Nope, not happening. Okay, so we get another crack at this scoring position thing here. Changing up the play just a little bit. He drops back to throw. And no. Incomplete pass. Okay. So it's going to be fourth down. Going to be 10-10. We move on. Mississippi State was held scoreless, it looks like. And they push us back. In the shadows almost of our own goalpost yet again. So we give it to the running back. He goes for a short game. And we're going to keep this thing a moving. Ooh. Tight end. Tight end looks promising. We'll see. He goes for the short pass instead. Take it. Good stuff. 
I mean, you might have to dink and dunk on Mississippi State's defense. Their defense is really hot right about now. I mean, I have to admit, too, that with the coach loving the run, it seems like, I don't know what he sees in the run defense of Mississippi State, but they're better off throwing with him this game. Throwing against them, that is. So he drops back to throw. This Harbor the second, and he'll find a man. Go straight up into the end zone for a touchdown. I was going to say he goes straight up the boundary. Oh, he hit him with the Heisman pose, too. Love that. Let's go. That is amazing. Uh -huh. There's the stats for the young quarterback. We get the ball yet again. 17-10. Now we are definitely pushed up against the shadows of our own goalpost. Gives it to his running back. Short gain. Not much of anything. Gonna run it again. All right, coach. If you say so. Not going to argue with you because you can't really do much in this position. So, first down, we'll take it. Run it again. All right. You don't run it again, man. You're not showing any faith in the running back. That's for sure. Especially in that position. So, you want to make, uh, make good with him. That's a pretty positive gain. We'll take that. And we're going to the sideline. All right. Pass play to the sideline. So, he drops back to throw. Finds a man, sideline. Yep. Dig it. Let's go. Ooh. You sure you want to do this against this defense? Mississippi State has been giving us problems. And, of course, they break up the screen before it even develops. All right. So, we go for a deeper pass this time. I gotta feel for uh, Mr. Lance Harbor, the second man. At least I do. Because he's at the mercy of his coach. Oh. Complete the pass there, though. Run play. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is brave. Right at the 50 as well. If this doesn't blow up, I would be surprised. Because they have been, a lot of the time, I've been yapping at you. So. Goes to the running back. Oh, didn't blow up that time. All right. Loving it. Let's go. Getting closer and closer to that red zone. So we're going to send a man in motion. Give it to him. And a decent little gain. Pass play incoming, though. Making a couple little adjustments is Lance Arbor the second. That's a little bit better. He snaps the ball, throws it, complete pass, and oh, I thought that was going to be pay dirt. Nope, not quite. Up against the their own end zone are the Bulldogs. The Aggies give it to the running back and get stuffed. Oh, somebody's hurt. And run it here. Let's run it here. Good stuff. 17-10 is your score still. Threatening are the Aggies to score again. So we give it to the running back. Finds a hole. Not quite to the touchdown. No worries. Oh, pass play here? Are you serious? Wouldn't you run it? Nah, uh, okay. Making a couple of adjustments is Lance Harbor the second. He drops back, finds a man short, and touchdown. That was a good play on the receiver's part there. There's 18. 18's his boy, I guess. My gosh. Y'all yeah, get you an 18 jersey. Get green. <laughs> Look at this. 14-10. Aggies could run away with it here if they can score again. We'll see. Run play to the left. Got it. Making a couple of adjustments is Lance Arbor the second. Run and play is not much of anything. Oh, screen pass. Uh oh. Why are you trying to coach? Well, he's going to drop back. Complete the pass. 
Oh, okay, so that play worked. Maybe we need to do more screen passes. Lance Harbor, the second, just kind of shrugs it off, goes back to the line, under center, sends the man motion, goes to the running back. They found a hole in Mississippi State's defense, and they are running with it. Pass, run, pass, run, run, pass, run, pass, run, run, pass, pass. I don't know. The, now they're going run, run, though. That's for sure. So we'll have to see. They're the running back. He goes for a nice game. And that'll work. The young man is putting in work. So Fiber the second goes up to the line. Makes a couple of changes. Oh, he's a little rattled by that crowd noise. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, that showed there, too. He was a little bit rattled. Goes up to the line yet again. Pass play incoming. Making a couple of changes. Got people... Looks like they were wide open on the right side of the field. Yeah, no, well, that's a complete pass, too. So that works. Let's go. The Aggies look like they're about to pour it on these guys, man. Well in control of this game. Well in control. I mean, he... Oh, nope, never mind. Those cowbells. Oof. Can't imagine what it's like hearing that from down on the field. But we uh, give them the ball. It's still 24 to 10. Did we knock the wind out of their sails? That's what I want to know. I think we might have knocked the wind out of their sails. Good little run. I don't think they're taking it too seriously right now. I think they know they're well in control of this game. I don't recall seeing Harbor the second throw an interception. Knock on wood. Maybe he did. But running game gets the ball. Gets the carry there. Gets the uh, call is what I was going for. They get the call yet again. So this running back is going to have to keep putting in work. Right around the 50. Oh, change of direction. Got him. No. Not working. Still running. Okay, coach. You say so. He does. So we're going to run it again. Might be good idea to... Yeah, there you go. Change the direction of the play. And nope. Still didn't work out like we hoped. Okay, so now we pass. Now we pass. Does Lance Harbor the second choke under the pressure of this situation? Or does he find a man? Uh, oh, nope. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Look at the score, though. These boys are holding it down on defense. Offense might be, uh,. Sputtering a little bit, but the defense is doing his thing. So we give it to the running back. He goes straight up the gut. Nice little gain. In full control of the clock, the field, the ball, everything in between. The Aggies will call another run play. I mean, I think they're just trying to keep the clock moving. Honestly, I think that's all they're trying to get out of it. Or maybe good enough field position for the kicker to, to kick the field goal. I have no idea. There's a pass play opportunity, though. Looking good on the right side of the field, maybe. It drops back, heaves it, and nope, not happening. 18's there to say, nope, it's okay, nice try. Oh, well. We give him back the ball. It's 27-17 now as the Aggies offense hits the field. Right around the 50 as well. Oh, can we do that again, coach? We do, in fact, do that again. Yikes. All right, so hoping for a better outcome this time around. Gives it to the running back. Timeout called. 27-17 is your score. But a very good game, I think, man. Just going to run it out here? Yeah, it looks like we're running it out. 
Alright, well, on that note, that's probably going to be the end of this game. So, uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. That was a quick look at the stats. Looks like this is going to go to the Texas A&M Aggies. 27-17 is your final score. Going to leave y'all with another conversation that this young man had. Look at those stats. 71% completion. Not bad. Getting better. All right. Well, again, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.